Finally, the time has come for me to put on new skates. If you have been following me thus far, you would know that me getting new skates is a long, 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 long overdue thing. I wasn't actually gonna purchase skates yesterday. I went into the shop thinking that I would just try on a few boots. I left a couple of hours later with new boots and actually new blades, which I wasn't thinking of getting. But then again, I wasn't thinking of getting those boots either. But ultimately I decided on this boot based on how it felt on my foot. I've had injuries and I have skated in pain. I just wanted something that could kind of grow with me and last me into axle and doubles <laughs> without like munting my feet in the process. That would be great. There are a few very special people who have made it possible for me to get new skates. When I hit kind of a bit of a rock bottom, you guys came through. You know who you are. I absolutely adore you. Thank you so much for making this possible. It's hard to say cheesy things without sounding cheesy. I skate in Jackson Mystiques um, with the Mark II blade that was just in the box attached to the skates. I've skated in them for about maybe over a year now. I switched to Rysport RF3 Pros um, with an Aspire blade. <laughs> Excuse me. The first thing that I thought when I put these on was Hello. It is so stiff, <laughs> um, but then again, I'm, I'm used to skating in a really soft boot, so I guess anything would be stiff to me. When I pick each skate up, this, you can tell that the body is made of PVC and plastic. This one is leather heel, leather body. With the Jackson, it has quite a high ankle. It's quite a standard width, I guess. It's got a pretty low heel. The blade is quite basic. A very forgiving toe pick. This is the Aspire blade. The toe pick is quite a lot bigger. The first pick, it descends a lot lower. Because I changed sizing and boot, um, I needed to get a blade that was smaller. So it's kind of like having to take my trainer wheels off and um, put on like big people <laughs> wheels. My blade initially was nine and one third inches. This one is just a nine inch blade. You'll find out about what happens to me when I get on the ice later, but you can imagine. There's also like a huge difference between um, the stiffness rating. So my Jackson Mystiques are around about a 15. The Riceport RF3 Pros are around about 60. It's four times the stiffness of my original boot. I can't even explain to you how much different the padding is like one is completely worn out and like dying and one is like plush. This microfiber foam is a lot different. It's kind of like a memory foam. It's way more spongy. If we look at the back of the rice sports, compared to that, but like way thicker at the back of the heel, it's also got a really nice like little loop over here that I can put the laces through that, that kind of stay in that place and they also have holes down here to help my feet breathe. I also like this little notch here. It's a really important area for me to have stability when I'm skating and my heel stays on the back of the boot which I've had an issue with this skate. Can't really see it there. The ankle is quite a lot shorter and the heel of this boot looks like it's quite similar to the Jackson but my foot actually sits about there so the heel is actually a lot higher than the Jackson and the ankle space as a result is a lot shorter than the Jackson this means there's more ankle and knee bend there's less restriction I've put up a little like comparison table <laughs> So I did go skating this morning. I did take quite a lot of footage of me trying to begin the breaking in process. I've only got four adjustment screws on there right now. I think I'm gonna have to tweak the blades a bit. 
but that'll be something we can worry about later. My decision after a lot of research, I did look at a lot of videos um, on YouTube in that process. So I thought that I'd put this out there as well. I hope you find it.
started off feeling like very discouraged, but towards the end of it, I really got used to these blades. They are a different length. Um, this is a boot that is like almost three times as stiff as my one, four times as stiff. It's gonna take some time to get my jumps and my spins back up to what I thought I had them in my other skates. It's time for a change and I'm glad that it has been done. The only thing I noticed was that on my landing leg, so my right leg, um, the blade is slightly too far inside the foot, if that makes sense. Like, it's just aligned too much over the, the ball of my foot, the big ball of my foot. <laughs> Hopefully I can go in, get that done, and, uh, and then go back and bake my skates as well. I understand that a little bit of pain is necessary. I thought I was gonna lose all my skills, but I got to attempt all my jumps, all my spins today. I mean, whether they were successful or not, that's a different thing, but progress is progress. <laughs>